Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at a Venn diagram that we already have been given, and we're going to try and find some probabilities from it. Okay, so we're going to start off with some basic probabilities just to get the ball rolling. So if I want to find the probability of A, uh, so probably of picking an item from the circle of A, effectively. So we have uh, inside the circle, we have 15 and 3. So there are 18 that are attributed to A. So that would be 18 out of the total number that there are. So if I add up all of these numbers, that will give me the total. 8, 3 is 11, 15 makes 26, plus 4 is 30. So 30 is the total. So it's 18 out of 30. So 18 out of 30, 3 fifths. OK? Now, not A, so the probability of not A, is anything that is outside of that circle. So that would be the 8 and the 4, so 12. And it makes sense because it should always be one take away the 18 over 30. So we're getting the 12 over 30, which would be one take away 3 fifths, so 2 fifths. As for the probability of B, well, the circle of B has 3 and 8, so that's 11 for B. So it's 11 out of 30. That can't be simplified down, so we can move straight on to probability of not B. So not B would be 1 take away the 11 over 30, so 19 out of 30. You could also see it as anything that is outside of that circle. So that's the 15 and the 4, 19. So 19 out of 30. Now the probability of A union B, so that would be the probability of A or B or both. So if you're inside A or you're inside B or you're inside both, okay? So we want those three added together. So we've got 15, 18, 26. So 26 out of the 30. Okay, so 26 out of 30 simplifies down to 13 fifteenths. Okay, now the probability of A intersection B, so that's the probability of A and B. So that is the intersection where the two circles overlap. So that would be 3 out of the 30. So 3 out of 30 is just 1 tenth. Now we get on to ones that look a little bit more complicated because we've got to put a little bit more thought into it. So for G, we've got the probability of not A intersecting with B. So where does not A, so outside of A, intersect with B? So if you think about shading regions, so if we try and do that down here, Okay, so there's A, there's B. So what have we got? We've got not A, so that's anything that is outside of A. Okay, and then we want to intersect that with B. Well, B is anything that is in this circle. So what you end up with is you're looking for the intersection, the overlap of those two regions. And that is where you're getting the crosshatch of the red and the blue. So the A, not A, intersecting with B is this region here. Okay, this crescent shape. So in our diagram, that's the 8. So it would be 8 out of 30. Okay, so 8 out of 30, 4 fifteenths. Okay, right, so that's that one. So now we've got this last one, not A or not B, or both not A and not B. Okay, so that 
is also another confusing one. Okay, so there's A and there's B. Okay, so not A is anything outside of A. Not B is anything outside of B. Or not both. So what that would mean is that any area that has got this cross hatch of uh, the lines going either way, so that would be anything that is outside of those two circles, is also included. So the reason why I haven't used the secondary colour here is because we're not looking at the intersection, we're looking at the union. So it can be not A or not B or not both. Okay, so that means that anything that is shaded in blue here, regardless of whether it's cross-hatch or not, is included. So it's anything but that three. So that means it would have to be 4 plus 15 plus 8, which is 27. So it's 27 out of 30. Okay, so 27 out of 30 gets me 9 tenths. And that's how we can find specific probabilities from a given Venn diagram.